the alts have incredible incredible negative divergences. When I was looking at divergences on the RSI last la this weekend, I was floored. I literally was floored by the negative divergences. And it made me honestly think, you know, uh, you know, the alts have been running incredibly, but the negative divergences have me saying, holy cow, what the heck is going on? And I want to show you this on a chart like Solana, right? So I know, listen, and I'm probably going to piss off a lot of people out there. But the point is, is that I'm here to point out reality. And it doesn't mean that, that this is going to play out. It, it could totally ignore it. But my point is, it's important to know the possibilities, right? Good investors know the possibilities. Then you make your decision, whatever it may be. So what I want to show you here is the, the divergence that has occurred in the chart of Solana. So when we look at Solana here, we can clearly see that here you had a high and here was a higher high. So that implies that the RSI should have made a high here and it should have made a higher high here. If we look down here and we draw that in, we see a high here on the RSI and a huge negative divergence on the RSI to the downside. See how this line is sloping down while this is sloping up. Now, the kicker is this, guys, is that when you see negative divergences, it basically tells you that small money continues to buy, but big money continues to unload. And so that's why I pay attention to the RSI negative divergences is because it literally gives you a heads up that there's something not quite right. That at some point, and this is the tricky thing with RSI divergences, you don't really have an exact time frame. That's where you have to go to like the, the intraday charts or the daily charts to find that topping tail or that trend line or whatever it may be. But the RSI divergences tells you something is brewing, something is coming. Okay, so all of a sudden you can see here we have the negative divergence and then what happened last night? Boom right to the downside where this thing literally fell, you know, about five to six dollars, almost 10 percent on that chart. Now, if we go to some of these other altcoins, they're much the same, right? So if we look at a Cardano, all right, take a look at Cardano here if we go to this and we can generally see that you're still in that same position where you have a negative or equal divergence. Here in this case, it's about an equal divergence same height here. Oh no, check that. My apologies. It's actually much, much lower here. Oh, check that. There we go. So here's your flatlining divergence. If we go right here is equal over here. Yet look at how much price has gone up instead. And again, this is more of a flat divergence. Uh, but again, it's much more dramatic there. I'd say Solana is the most impressive one of them all. Um, if we look at other ones, let's look at a few others in the altcoin market. If we take a look here, here's a good example again on Rune. Take a look at this. Here you have, again, an example of where are your high pivots, right? So if we look at here, right here was a high. Here was a high on the divergence. If you look at this, that's a higher high. But look, all the way down here, you're now lower. So higher and lower. And again, I'm only pointing this out because again, it's just information, right? You know, my goal here is to show you information and give you probabilities and data and all that stuff. And that's an interesting thing. And you're seeing this more and more in the altcoins. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, um, let me see if it actually shows up on Bitcoin as well here, because that would be fascinating if it did. I'm not sure if it does. Um, wow, the answer is yes, it does on Bitcoin. Wow. All right. So let me show you guys this. So last one I'll do, and then we're going to move on to gold, natural gas, and oil. But very clearly here, look at this. All right. Here's a high on Bitcoin and look at the RSI. Here's a higher high on Bitcoin. All right. Here's a lower RSI. Here's a way higher high on Bitcoin. I left those lines in there here. In fact, we'll move it around. So look at this trend line down. Look at the trend line to the upside. And again, negative divergences. And again, I guess what this tells me is that whether or not we get to 48,000 to 50,000, I'm not sure. I think that to me is my max upside. But it tells me that there's going to be a more impressive flush. We've already kind of gotten a little bit taste of this, 
But this is just, if these divergences are true, this is just the beginning of this. And I know it's not going to be popular out there, guys. I'm just giving you information. Do what, it do what you will with it. Silver, guys. Silver is a huge, to me, I love this as a swing trade. I've been accumulating a little SLV myself um, down at these levels here. Uh, let me flip over to that right now. Look at this dramatic oversold sell-off on silver. It's down today again. It could go as low as this level right here. There's this trend line right here to here to here. But again, you're now approaching a time count, two, four, six down days in a row. We know, at least from my methodology, the seven times, the seven number is the key one. So that would be tomorrow. Uh, CPI is reported tomorrow as well, by the way, to maybe coincide. But look at how oversold that is in such a short amount of time. You should get some sort of technical bounce here on the silver chart.